welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I wanted to do a heatless hairstylist video. I was asked a few days ago if I would do a video like this, and I thought it sounded like a really good idea since summer is right around the corner. Plus, all of the hairstyles in this video are five minutes or less. I wanted to make sure they were really quick and easy, so I hope you guys enjoy that. But before I get into it, if you are new, please subscribe. Don't forget to like this video if you enjoy it, and let's get started. I'm going to begin by applying my dry shampoo, and this one is by Not Your Mother's. I always make sure that I shake the can right before I apply it. I really feel like that makes a huge difference. And then I'm just rubbing it into my roots. I'm using my wet brush, and I'm obsessed with this brush, so I will link it in the description box. I use it all the time. And I wanted to show you guys how I put my hair behind my ears because I do it a little bit differently. I start with the hair really close to my ear and then I smooth the top layer over. I think it just looks way more sleek this way, so I definitely recommend you guys try this out. For all of these looks, you will need some bobby pins as well as elastics, so make sure you have those around. And I like to stretch them out a little before I use them since they are pretty tight at first. I'm going to put my hair into three low ponytails and just section it off that way. I recommend that you only use your elastics one time, and that's because I think they get weak really quickly. I've had them just snap in my hair out of nowhere, but I think I paid $3 for 400 so they last a really long time. Once my hair is secured, I like to lightly tease it with my wet brush, and then I'm going to start spinning my hair into really low buns, and they are pretty loose at first, so I just secure them once, and then I will move on to the others so I can make sure that all of them are about the same size. Once I have my three buns, I like to go back and forth between securing them a little more and pulling on them. That way it looks like I have hair that is a little bit thicker, so that is a huge tip for you guys. I think this is so quick and easy and it looks really put together. For this next look, I'm going to start by applying a little more of my dry shampoo at my crown so that way I have a little more volume there and again just putting my hair behind my ears starting at the bottom working my way up. I'm putting my hair into a ponytail that is a little bit lower. I'm using a smoothing brush and I'm just skidding it across the top layer of my hair. I don't push down, I feel like that makes my hair look really flat so just really lightly and then just securing it with an elastic. I'm going to put in another elastic a few inches away from the original one. Once that's secured, I like to tighten it as if it's a ponytail, and then I'm going to pull on it from every direction. I'm creating a bubble, so I go back and forth with those two techniques until I have the shape and the size that I'm going for. I'm going to repeat this process for the entire length of my ponytail. I think I had about four or five of these bubbles, so it depends on how long your hair is for how many bubbles you have. I love this. I think it is really cute since the hair that is lying flat on my head is just really sleek, and then the ponytail is a little less perfect and put together. I love the contrast. I think this is an awesome look for the beach when your hair is just flying all over the place and you want it just out of the way, so I know I will be wearing this a ton this summer. I think this last look is so trendy right now. I just really love this. So I just started by splitting my hair into two even sections. And then I'm doing a high ponytail on each side. I'm going to lightly tease each ponytail and I have a lot of texture already from the dry shampoo. That's why I don't show any hairspray in this video because I feel like I don't really need it. I'm going to spin my hair into two buns pretty lightly so that way they are big and fluffy and just secure it until I feel like they are locked into place pull out a few hairs around my face for a little framing, and that really is it. It's just so quick, so easy, and I feel like this is the perfect heatless summer hairstyle. That is all for my heatless hairstyles video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Please like and subscribe if you did, and make sure to leave me a comment for a video request in the future. I love knowing what you guys want to see because that's what I want to film, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!